Well, welcome to the 700 Club. President Trump and the First Lady and Vice President Pence are visiting Naples, Florida today. And they're getting a first-hand look at the devastation caused by Hurricane Irma. Their visit comes as some victims of the storm feel like nobody cares about them. But CBN's Operation Blessing is on the scene, helping people throughout the state. Gary Lane brings us the story from Jacksonville, Florida. The President and First Lady's visit comes just a day after the horrible nursing home tragedy north of Miami. At least eight people died at this assisted living facility in Hollywood, Florida, after it was left without electricity and air conditioning because of Hurricane Irma. The oppressive heat and humidity were too much for the elderly residents to bear. We depend on those people in those facilities to care for our most vulnerable elderly population, and it's really sad when something like this goes on. Police are opening a criminal investigation to learn why facility officials hadn't removed the seniors and taken them to a safer place. More than three million Florida residents are still without power, and FEMA officials now say 90% of the homes in the Florida Keys were destroyed or suffered damage because of the hurricane. Hurricane Irma has claimed a lot of victims, and some of them feel like they are truly forgotten people. And they don't live in places like the big houses in Key West or in Naples, and those homes have to be rebuilt, and they will be. But they're forgotten people because they live in places like this. This is a marina near Jacksonville. And the people here, about eight families, feel like they're forgotten because now this marina is shutting down. Closing permanently because of Hurricane Irma, this office sign reads, Deborah Jennings is one of the seniors living on a sailboat here. We have a boat marina here with retired people on fixed incomes. Once our bills are paid, our dockage is paid, there is no more money for us. She says Irma hit them hard. Their boat engines were damaged by the storm surge and no longer work. They have little money for food or to fix their boats and move elsewhere. Good morning, how are you? CBN's Operation Blessing learned of their needs and arrived with food, water, and other supplies. It was a matter of eating and not eating. We were down to nothing. Refrigeration systems are down. We have no power. I'm blown away at the wonderful things y'all did for us. They brought food for all the voters. Plentiful. Just blowed me away with it, what y'all have done. And we really, really thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And now they're just praying that someone will help them tow their broken boats and find a new place to live. In the meantime, the Jennings and many others here in Florida are thankful for Operation Blessing, for the food, water, and other items in a time of crisis, and for prayers of encouragement for the future. Lord, just bless them beyond their wildest dreams. And let them know that you love them. Yes. And as the body of Christ, we love them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And thank you, Jesus, for these people. Gary Lane, CBN News, Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you. Well, Operation Blessing hasn't forgotten them, and we're going to be there providing food and water, and we're doing it in your name. If you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. You're part of that relief effort. Well, not only is Operation Blessing in Florida, we're still in Texas, helping people in several cities who were hit by Hurricane Harvey. And Operation Blessing is also in Mexico, in one of the hardest hit areas after that massive 8.1 earthquake last Thursday. We're providing food, medical care, and help for the elderly. And there's an urgent need now for volunteers for Texas. Uh, we, we need volunteers to help with the cleanup, with help with removing debris, helping people restore their lives. And so if you'd like to volunteer uh, going into this weekend, we have plenty of opportunity for you. All you have to do is go to ob.org. Uh, and you can find out more about how you can volunteer. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club right after this. Chantel Ray started out with an entry-level job making $9 an hour. Well, today she owns a multi-million dollar real estate business. She's living her dream and well on her way to her ultimate goal, giving away 90% of her income. Meet Chantel Ray. She's the name, motivation, and skill behind a multi-million dollar real estate company, a company that has been named as one of the fastest growing in America. To date, 
She has 130 employees and five locations. We are growing at about a 35 to 40% every single year that we've been in business, so it's really been exciting. Years ago, Chantel was struggling with an entry-level job and a meager salary. Her definition of success then was having enough food and a roof over her head. I was a youth pastor. I made $9 an hour <laughs> for only 20 hours a week, but I worked like 60 hours a week. I was just putting literally groceries on my credit card at that time because I just was making so little, little amount, I just couldn't make it. After several years of charging her living expenses and only paying minimum payments, Chantel was $10,000 in debt and maxed out on credit. That's when I really started to panic because I couldn't use my credit card for gas and groceries and things that I needed. During this difficult time, Chantel heard a message at church on the biblical principle of tithing. My immediate reaction when they talked about tithing was like, I just can't do it right now. Maybe when I make more money, that makes sense. But months later, Chantel was still counting pennies and worried about not being able to pay her rent. She was desperate enough to try tithing. So I finally got to the place where I was like, okay, God, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go all out and test you to see if you are really true in this area. The next Sunday, as she was getting ready for church, she wrote a $30 check for the offering. I was like, please, God, let this go through. Cause I didn't really even know what the balance was at the time, but I was like, you said, test me in this. So I'm just gonna try it. The very next day, she received a $300 refund check from her utility company in the mail. And I was just like, wow, God really did provide. Chantel continued to tithe faithfully. It wasn't long before she received another financial breakthrough. So I was talking to my aunt a few days later and she was just like, I just decided that I wanna pay off that $10,000 credit card. Chantel was elated by her aunt's generosity, but she says the gift was followed by another challenge from God. While listening to a podcast about tithing 90%, Chantel felt God was telling her to do the same. And I was thinking, I just made the commitment to start tithing. Now you want me to give 90% away? So I said, you know what? God, if this is what you're laying on my heart, I'm gonna do it. And so I was like, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna increase my tithe by 3% every year. Six months later, Chantel received a job offer that doubled her annual salary. Then in 2005, Chantel's income had another dramatic increase when she launched a career in real estate. I sold more houses in Hampton Roads than anyone else for that first year as Rookie of the Year. And um, everyone just referred me business. It was just such a blessing. The rest of Chantel's success story can be read in the bottom line of her own real estate company launched in 2012. Chantel says that she gives all the credit for her success to God. So there's a verse in 1 Samuel 3.20 that says, those who honor me, I will honor. It's just about honoring God with your money. It's, it's really a matter of reaping and sowing and we just keep giving and he keeps giving back. Here's the promise from Malachi, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house and prove me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Now, Chantel walked that verse out and she said, okay, I'm gonna start tithing. And then God put a goal on her heart that may stagger some people. How, how do you get to 90% uh, where you keep 10, you give away 90? Uh, that's not for everyone, but here is one for everyone. Bring all the tithes into the, the storehouse. When you do that, then wonderful things happen. God opens the windows of heaven, pours out blessings. He will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Uh, he, will, he will do wonderful things for you if you just walk in accordance with his word. Well, today, Leon Johnson and his wife, Latanya, own five successful businesses. It's hard to believe that they were once so broke they couldn't even afford to shop at the dollar store. Playing golf is one of the ways Leon and Latanya Johnson take a break from their busy schedule of running five successful companies. My life is incredible right now because of God. To get where they are today, Leon has learned some hard lessons. It was 1993 when he and a partner started a mobile car detailing operation after 14 and a half years in the Navy. Even though he worked hard and had a lot of customers, he wasn't making a profit. 
When you go into business, everyone genuinely believes you're just going to be an instant success. You know, we didn't understand market research. So you, you quickly realize you have a lot of business, but you're not making a profit. Latanya's salary as a bank teller was their only income. They couldn't keep up with their bills and had to move out of their apartment. A friend rented out a room to them and their young daughter. I just remember some nights just laying there and just crying myself to sleep. And that my husband didn't even know. Um, but I would just silently just cry out to God and say, God, you, you've got to help us. Leon started suffering from stress and anxiety. My consistent prayer to God was, God, I love you. I need your help. God's answer to me was consistently, I love you, follow my principles. One of those principles was tithing, something the couple hadn't done consistently since starting the business. Leon decided to tithe faithfully on anything he made. He says afterwards the business started turning a profit. It did so well they were able to move into a house they had rented. But after a year, they had stopped going to church and tithing. Once again, the business started losing money. I think the reason I went back to my old ways is sometimes we feel like, okay, thank you, God, I got it from here. After a year, his business began failing. His income dropped so dramatically that he couldn't afford to shop at discount stores. The reality hit me that I could not afford one item in the dollar store. That was a very sobering moment for me. From that point in that dollar store, I said, Lord, I get it. Lord, I will be faithful. Lord, I will be obedient. Soon afterwards, he and Latanya found a new church and started tithing and giving to CBN. Things were starting to turn around. Um, we actually had hope again. With the detailing business doing so well, Latanya quit her job at the bank and started a cleaning business of her own. Now the Johnsons own five successful businesses. The one that provides medical solutions has been ranked among Inc. Magazine's top 5,000 fastest growing privately held companies in the U.S. for the past three years. The financial blessing has been wonderful, but God has restored me to right thinking and humility. And as a man, I feel that I'm, I'm very well balanced. In addition to their tithes, the couple are also CBN founders. It's a great ministry, a great opportunity to give into something that's a lot bigger than us. The couple has learned many lessons about running a business, but the most important one is giving obediently to God. God is faithful. And he is a God that he will not lie. Just determine in your heart, in your mind, that I'm going to start. And God knows your heart. He knows where you are, and he will meet you right where you are. God is faithful to everything and to every principle and to every promise that's written in the word. Be obedient to God. Just trust him. Just trust him and trust him with your obedience. Show how much you trust Him by obeying what He tells you to do. Here it is in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Never think that it was your own strength and energy that made you wealthy. Always remember that it is the Lord your God who gives you the power to become rich. Uh, and I think that's a word over America. We need to realize all these blessings that we have come from God, our life, our breath, everything comes from Him. And when you acknowledge Him and you put Him first in your life, then the blessings continue. Now, I've got some wonderful news. We have some existing CBN partners who love giving to CBN. They want to challenge others to give 115000 so let's pray. Lord, we just ask for blessing over this. We ask for blessing especially for the partners who made it possible to issue this challenge. And we also ask for blessing for those who are watching right now. Bless and encourage them. Let them know how, how much you love them. Be with them, Lord, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.
$115,000 is the challenge. What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to join the 700 Club and be a part of everything that we're doing around the world. If you want to be a part of earthquake relief in Mexico, hurricane relief in Texas and Florida, if you want to see the gospel preached around the world, join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing. Another portion goes into the work of CBN International to preach the gospel around the world. You're a part of all of it. Now, how much is it? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join 700 Club Gold, which is $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, when you do call us, you become a CBN partner, and we have a free gift for you. It's called Ask Anything, Biblical Answers to Life's Most Probing Questions. And in this DVD, Pat Robertson tackles the hard issues that we all face and gives solid answers based on his personal experience and his lifelong study of the scriptures. Take a look. Get Pat Robertson's latest teaching. Ask Anything. And people have done just that. Can Satan read our minds? What is the real deal on cremation? What are the really bad sins? You can ask a whole bunch of questions all at one time. <laughs> Partner with CBN and we'll send you Pat Robertson's latest teaching, Ask Anything. I think it's hard for people today to know what's right or wrong, but there is a biblical standard. I try to stay close to the Word of God and to give you answers from the Word of God. Get biblical answers to today's probing questions on finance, relationships, career, health, spiritual well-being, and much more. What's the Bible say when we're dealing with issues, for example, of transgender? And then how, as Christians, do we deal with it? It's a good question. When is it the right time to sever ties with a family member? Ask anything. Biblical answers to life's most probing questions. Call now to get Ask Anything. Well, he's done all the hard work for us. Answers from God's Word to the things that we all want to know about life and how to live it well. We want you to have this. It's our way of saying thank you. When you call right now and join the 700 Club, our number is toll free, 1-800-700-7000. And you know we're in the middle of a challenge now. That means when you call and make your pledge right now, every dollar you give will be matched. So you're going to have your giving go twice as far. Give us a call right now. Gordon? Well, not long ago, Brian Bryce was so deep in debt that he had to choose which of his bills to pay each month. He was down to his last $5. But instead of spending it, he used it to help people who were even worse off than he was. Brian Bryce was making a good living as a chef at a little Italian restaurant in Killeen, Texas. But no matter how many hours he worked, he, the bills didn't get paid because Brian's top priorities were alcohol and drugs. I was a slave to my addictions. They were in control, not me. So he started borrowing from his boss against his paycheck. Once I borrowed a little money from that check, I ended up with less money on the next one, so it, it just kind of snowballed. I kept having to borrow and having to borrow. And it got to the point where I was deciding which of the utilities, which ones were gonna get cut off. Water was getting shut off on a regular basis. One night, when he felt like he couldn't take any more, Brian broke down and prayed. I cried out to God to kill me. I asked him to take me home because if this was my life, I didn't wanna be here. And as I was crying out to him, that's when I felt his arms wrap me up and lift me up saying, you're my son, and I'll never let you go. He had been right there with me the whole time, and I just had failed to see him. Suddenly, all of Brian's addictions were gone. He healed me in a second. It was like being alive for the first time. Without his expensive habits, he was paying down his debts. He even started giving money away. I was down to my last five bucks and I said, Lord, you know, this is for you. I actually mailed that one into CBN. He sees your heart, he sees your pain, he sees your tears. My only source of spiritual food was basically watching pastors on television and watching the CBN. While Brian was paying off all of his debts, he started going to church and tithing and continued to give to the 700 Club. I just loved a lot of the ministries that I saw about 
wells being dug for people in third world countries who had nothing and seeing the work that Operation Blessing was doing across the world and right here at home, it made me feel like I could be a part of that. Brian says as he gave, he received. As one of the members of my congregation decided that she was going to move out of nowhere, she gave me new furniture and she saw me in need. I was paying for a taxi to go to and from work over 300 bucks a month. And instead of selling her car, she decided just to give it to me. Brian still works as a chef and he's pursuing a bachelor's degree in ministry. I would love to specialize in addiction ministry. Not a lot of people get the same chances that I got. He says he's seen firsthand what trusting God can do for your life. You know, when he says tithe to me, it means give him the first fruit, make your offerings to him. He deserves the best. He gave me his best. He didn't send one of his servants to us. He sent his son. He sent the firstborn. He sent us his first fruit. Why shouldn't we give it to him? Here is the promise. It's from Proverbs chapter 3. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Uh, you see what happened to Brian and it will happen to you if you just take the same principle. He's looking at your heart and when your heart says, I want to put God first, that's when the blessings happen. We're at a $115,000 challenge, so that means your giving will be automatically matched up to and including $115,000. We get the red number up, we're down to 103 on that challenge, 35 minutes, 32 seconds. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, here at CBN, our inbox is always full of emails, so we've taken some of the most frequently asked questions and put them together on this DVD, along with Pat's answers. And this free gift is yours when you join the 700 Club. Get Pat Robertson's latest teaching, Ask Anything. When a family isn't giving a full tithe, does that limit God's financial blessing in their lives? It's a good question. Does God ever speak audibly? Have you ever heard God's voice? Get answers to today's probing questions on finance, relationships, career, health, and spiritual well-being. People want to know what does God say about yeah. these things. Ask Anything. Available now. Finance, relationship, careers, you name it. If you've got questions, we've got answers. And these just aren't any answers. These are answers that come straight from the Bible. Biblical wisdom for you. Ask anything. Biblical answers to some of life's most probing questions. We want you to have it. It's our free gift when you give us a call right now. And just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Great question, glad you asked. Just 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBM partner. Now, many of you are already there and thank you so much, we so appreciate it. But if you'd like to do more, a lot of us can. Let's go up to our gold level. That's just $40 a month when you do that. We're gonna bless you back with three of Pat's dynamic new teaching, Ask Anything, one for you, two to give away. If you can go a little bit higher, let's take it up to our thousand club level, just $84 a month or higher. And you are gonna get five of our brand new teaching, Ask Anything. This will revolutionize your life. You gotta have it. It's our free gift when you give us a call right now. Terry? Well, when Mondo Galindo needed help gutting his home in Beaumont, Texas, Operation Blessing volunteers were on site to help. He's just one of many storm victims who's desperately trying to rebuild his life and who's extremely grateful for the help of Operation Blessing. Take a look. The double disaster created by Harvey and Irma has brought out the best in many people who simply want to help, which includes the volunteers of Operation Blessing. Teams have arrived from all over the country with one goal, to assist storm victims in both Texas and Florida. Multiple command sites coordinate help for thousands of people, but it's important to ensure every person feels special. Operation Blessing volunteers met Mondo Galinda in Beaumont, Texas, who desperately needed help gutting his home. I guess everybody feels like this, but, you know, it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling to, to see your house, you know, like that. Volunteers got to work clearing Mondo's home and salvaging what they could. Volunteer Richard Funes 
took time off from work to help. It just feels good to be out here doing something, you know, for the residents out here that lost everything. Not only did the team help Mondo, but also his neighbors. This lady was basically in tears. She didn't know how she was going to be able to get all this stuff out. This lady lost her roof over there. Look at all the debris that y'all just put out in the street in about less than two hours that y'all came out here. And y'all are out there helping more people. Operation Blessing, y'all are the only people that I've seen out here helping right now. And we will stay till the job gets done. We say thank you, 700 Club members, because you're the ones who make it possible for us to be there. And we say thank you to those of you who have volunteered to be a part of that, who have the ability to do that. They're there in the heat, making a difference every day. Join the 700 Club, because together, when we all pull together, we can make a huge difference. Right now, we're asking you to go to the phone and call, and a general membership is 65 cents a day, $20 a month. If you're already a 700 Club member, will you Go up to the 700 Club Gold level. There's the list of options before you. That's $40 a month. You could join the 1,000 Club at $84 a month or become a 2,500 Club member at $209 a month. Our founders join us at $5,000 a year, and that breaks down to $417 a month. We even have a group that we call the Chairman's Circle. These are friends who give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you to do, and then go to your phone and call with expectancy for the blessing that we believe you will receive from the Lord for your faithfulness, but also from that peace of heart and peace of mind that comes from knowing you didn't just sit by and watch what other people were going through. You made a difference. So you call now, 1-800-700-7000. Courtney? Well, Chris Baker is an Army vet who lives in Rockport, Texas. Powerful storm surge from Hurricane Harvey swamped his house and soaked nearly all his belongings. Chris had no one to help him sort through the remains until Operation Blessing volunteers showed up. Three feet of water rushed into Chris Baker's rental home from the Capano Bay and destroyed almost everything he owned. Most of Chris's belongings are headed to the dump. What isn't saturated with water or covered in seagrass reeks of mold. Obviously, I wasn't here. I, I did evacuate. What we can figure out is uh, the storm surge obviously came in from this direction. It folded down the, the bottom third of the garage doors and pushed everything in the garage up against the front wall. It did this with such force and then knocked a 10 inch hole in the wall behind the, the washer there and it inundated the entire house up to about three feet. There are homes just like this one scattered across the city of Rockport. And Operation Blessing has dispatched crews to help families muck out their homes. Kate, a volunteer, traveled three hours from San Antonio and worked for four days to help Hurricane Harvey survivors. I'm a military wife and I know what it means to serve others, so I'm glad to be helping Operation Blessing put Rockport back together. Chris says the quicker his cleanup gets done, the faster he can find a new place to rent. Now, thanks to Operation Blessing and its volunteers, Chris will have time to make new arrangements and put the muck and mire of Harvey behind him. It's unfortunate that it takes a tragedy like this to bring out the best in so many, but it's heartwarming to know that just the outpouring for our community here has just been phenomenal. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And thank you, if you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. You enable us, together we do so much and we do it in your name. If you're not a member, join with us. Join in everything we're doing around the world. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. If you are a member, consider increasing this year. Consider if you're already a 700 Club member, can you go to 700 Club Gold? That's $40 a month and, or 1,000 Club. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, right now, your giving gets automatically matched. 79,000 is left on a $115,000 challenge. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? A few years ago, when flash floods damaged her home, Zena Hankins was devastated. She had no flood insurance, and she had no money to repair the damage, until a crew from Operation Blessing came to her rescue. It was really pouring down rain and the water was rising. And within minutes, I started seeing water coming in my house. And the water just kept on rising, just kept on rising. Heavy rains and flash flooding in Norfolk, Virginia, left people like Zena Hankins with water-soaked homes and no way to clean up the mess. 
at one point I just sat and I cried and I said, Lord, I work every day. I did everything that I was supposed to do. You know, I have insurance. I work hard. I don't know why is this happening to me and what is happening, because at this point, I don't have money to, to do the work that I knew that's going to be required. The next day, Operation Blessing's disaster relief team showed up to help Zena and the other residents clean up their homes. We're in Zena's kitchen right now, and I just wanted to show you something. We're going to tilt down here, and I want you to show you how saturated this rug is. This, this rug is history. It's no longer usable. We're going to go in here. The Operation Blessing guys are in here taking up the carpet, cutting out the drywall. Now I want to show you something. Right here is the water line. That's how high the water got in Zena's house. Now it needs to be taken out as quickly as possible because if they don't, the results could be disastrous. The mold is definitely a huge issue and we make sure that um, we explain to the homeowners what, what we're doing and how we want to protect them and, and get that carpet and drywall out. Zena was grateful for the help cleaning up, but Operation Blessing wanted to finish the job. So through local partnerships and the financial support of 700 Club partners, they restored all of the flooded homes in Zena's community. Now, we're back in Zena's kitchen, and I want you to look at this brand new linoleum. We've got brand new carpet in the dining room. It's through the hallway all the way into the living room. Now, this has all just been installed, so Zena's still settling in, but I want you to see something. Brand new drywall. You can't even see where the water was. So there's no mold and no problems. I want to thank Operation Blessing and 700 Club for coming to my rescue because uh, out of all everybody and everything, you are the only people that came to my rescue. You're the only one. You know, it's so overwhelming when something like that happens. I mean, you don't even know where to go or what to do. but. 700 Club members, you are the ones who allow Operation Blessing to show up in those places, to love on people, to pray with them, and to get the job done, to bring hope back into their lives. That's why we're asking you to call right now. You're doing that here at home. You see it happening in the wake of all that's happened in the United States recently. You're doing it around the world in the lives of people in need. Join with us now. Together we can make a huge difference. Our number's toll free. It's one 800 700 700 thousand call and join the 700 club today wendy thank you so much terry well do you always end up with more month than money in our new dvd pat robertson shows you how to reverse that negative trend you'll learn how to be successful in business how to be blessed financially and how to prepare for a comfortable retirement Here's a question from carol she says when a family isn't giving a full tithe or any tithe to their church or a ministry does that limit God's financial blessing in their lives? There's something about God being your partner, and, and the Bible says, give, and it'll be given unto you, pressed down, good measure, running over woman, heap into your bosom. There are four superlatives in there, and giving is so important. So you want to unlock the flow of God's blessing into your life. That's how you do it with giving. And uh, you don't wait for Him to do something. You start it yourself. So whether it's $10 or $5 or $20 or whatever, give unto the Lord and then watch Him begin to do something and give more and then give more. And uh, the Lord will bless, but that, that's the law of, of reciprocity. If you want to unlock the blessings of God in your life, it starts with giving. Practical wisdom right from the Bible. That's what you're going to find in Pat's latest teaching called Ask Anything. Pat answers your tough questions and so much more. And guess what? This is our free gift. When you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Our counselors are standing by right now to take your call. If you've been watching all week, this is the time to go to your phones. People need your help. There's so many hurting people that you just saw that piece of the lady whose house was flooded in operation. 
Operation Blessing came to the rescue. That's you. If you're a CBN partner, you're the one going, you're the one helping. And if you want to do that, this is the time to go to your phones and say yes. Now, how much is it? Great question. 65 cents a day. $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner. If you're already doing that, I just want to say thank you because you are making a big difference. If you'd like to make a bigger difference, I want to challenge you to go up to our gold level, just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you with Pat's Ask Anything. This is yours, one for you two to give away. If you can go a little bit higher, let's take it up to our thousand club level, $84 a month or higher. You're going to get five. We're in the middle of a $115,000 challenge right now with 22 minutes left on the clock. That means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. It's a great time to go to your phones. We need your help. Gordon? Well, when Mike's small business slowed down, his salary took a big hit and he lost thousands of dollars. But Mike and his wife had an unusual way to deal with this shortfall. And with a, within a few months, they got their money back and much more. Since 1971, Mike and Liddell Briery have supported CBN. And last year, they decided to increase their pledge. But just one week later, they were challenged to honor that commitment. Mike had his own business selling insurance, and suddenly, people started canceling their policies. It dropped our income about $2,000 a month, which is very substantial because, like most people, we still had house payments, we had car payments, we had our monthly obligations of insurance and the light bill. We had all of that. It was scary. I really had to fight the negative thoughts in my mind. You aren't going to make it. You won't make the pledge. You know, you're going to lose everything. It's like this. You've got doubt, and you've got the answer. Which one are you going to choose? I choose the answer. Mike and Liddell honored their pledge to CBN. And then, just a short time later, Mike got a surprise phone call. He had inherited a small tract of land out of state a few years earlier. Now, an oil company wanted to buy the mineral rights to it. Two weeks after that, the Briaries got an offer on a property they'd been trying to sell for years. So within a four-month period, God supplied over a half a million dollars. I mean, our mouths were just, just open. You know, we were just stunned and just in such, so excited. But we were just amazed at, at what God was doing in our lives. Not only did the money cover their pledge, it also restored their finances. In the material world, you can't explain it. But if you're a child of God and you have the confidence that He is going to take care of you, you just know that you know He is always going to be there for you. He's always going to help you. He's going to always give back more to you than what you give to Him. Since then, they've given above and beyond their pledge. They say giving is more than a responsibility. It's a privilege. I have to do for Him. I have to give back to Him. My obligation to God is to be able to share with other people what God can do. Share with other people what God can do. What He's done for others, He will do for you. He watches over His Word to perform it, and He will perform it for you. Now, I've got some wonderful news. Some CBN partners want to add to this challenge. They want to add 39,000 to it. Take us up to 154 and let's pray. Lord, we just ask for blessing over this. We ask for the increase that comes from you, 30, 60, 100 fold. Bless your people, Lord God, for we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, we've got 154,000 on the challenge amount. If we get the red number up, we're more than halfway there. 72,000 dollars left. 18 minutes, 33 seconds on the clock. Call us now, be a part of it, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, Mrs. Wynn was born with a cleft lip and palate that at some point was just sewn together with a needle and thread and had never properly healed. So when her son was born with a cleft lip and palate, she and her husband were desperate to get him proper medical treatment. Mr. Wen waited until he was 30 years old to get married and was very happy when he found out he and his wife were going to have a baby boy. I was finally going to be a father. It was a dream come true. Mrs. Wen started sewing baby clothes right away, but the excitement didn't last long. 
because Jin Hua was born with a cleft lip and palate. I worried people would make fun of him, and he wouldn't be able to go to school or get married. I blamed myself. Mrs. Wen thought it was her fault. She'd had a cleft lip and palate herself. An inexperienced doctor had sewn her mouth up with a simple needle and thread. It affected her appearance and speech ever since. I did not want that to happen to my son. So I vowed that no matter how poor we were, we would get professional surgery for him. As farmers, it would take years to save for surgery. Meanwhile, Jin Gua struggled to eat and take his medicine. Sometimes he choked and could not breathe. Local doctor said he could die at any time. Desperate, the couple prayed to their deceased relatives. But it seemed like they did not understand anything that we were saying. If my ancestors couldn't help, who would? Later, a doctor called Mr. Wen and told him about CBN. I got my wish, surgery for my son. No one could believe it. The surgery transformed Jin Hua's face. He's much stronger than he was before, and he can eat by himself. The surgery was professional and perfect. Chen Guan never looked in a mirror before, but now he loves to see himself. <laughs> and now the Wens have a new faith. Now I believe there must be a true God, a God who really cares about me. And I would love to know more about Christianity. Now I'm willing to believe in him and give my life to him because he helped my son and changed his life. Thank you, CBN. Yeah. Jesus gave us hope through you. Wow, how do you put a price tag on that smile? And how do you put a price tag on the gift of eternal life? 700 Club members, you made that possible. We want to say thank you. What an opportunity to touch the world with the love of Jesus. That's why we're asking you right now to call and be a part of all of this so we can be there at meeting people right at the point of need in their lives. And listen, when you call our toll-free number right now and say, I want to join the 700 Club, will you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. You don't have to remember envelopes, stamps, to mail anything on time. It's all done for you. And it saves us some administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of children and families like you just saw. When you use Pledge Express, we want to say thank you by sending you a Power for Life teaching. You'll get one of these every month and we think it'll be a great blessing to you even as you are blessing others. This is our number. It's toll free. 1-800-700-7000. Call now. Gordon? Well, Taj is a sergeant first class in the Army who supports his wife and five children on a military salary. His family has to follow a strict budget to make ends meet. So when the engine blew in their van, the couple needed a hand up. And that's exactly what they got from CBN's Helping the Home Front. The first step for any young man or woman wanting to serve in the U.S. Army is to talk to a recruiter. Those enlisting around Fort Knox, Kentucky will likely meet recruiter Sergeant First Class Taj. I've met people that didn't have anything going for them, per se. And by being able to qualify them for joining the Army, they've been able to go out and do great things. His wife, Tanya, understands the importance of his work. Well, it makes me proud of him that he's able to make a difference in people's lives. When not recruiting, Taj enjoys family time with Tanya and his five kids. The family strives to be an example of how to trust God in every area of their lives, including money. With the goal of becoming completely debt-free, they live on a very strict budget. Most importantly, they tithe each month. We make sure we pay our tithes. Some people wouldn't understand that. So even though you would look at, let's say, my pay stub, and it would have this amount of money, I wouldn't look at that amount of money. I would always look at the amount of money after we pay our tithes. Are you serious? They had a setback when the engine blew in their family van. The mechanic called to say the cost to fix it was over $3,000. Renting a van while waiting for the repair would be expensive. The only way to pay for everything was open a credit card. We were on our way 
to trying to be as debt free as possible. So to go back into debt, it upset me. The couple prayed for a way to pay off the unexpected credit card balance as quickly as possible. The answer came through their church, Lifeline Temple of God, who had contacted CBN's Helping the Homefront on their behalf. Their pastor, Willie Scott, told them CBN was ready to help. They are actually here to give you $3,600 for the repair of the van and an additional $1,500 for any expense that you incurred. Oh my goodness. Oh, the Lord is good. <laughs> the Lord is good. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm speechless too, right? I... <laughs> you know, I was out there finding other ways in which uh, to pay this thing. It's a miracle. And, yeah. <laughs> this Army family is appreciative that God came through for them and used CBN to do it. I truly hope that CBN will continue this program. Uh, to help other military families such as ours when situations like this come up and be blessed as we were blessed today. We want to help active duty military families. We want to recognize that the families are serving too. And in their time of need, we want to give them a hand up. And that's all part of what happens when you join the 700 Club. So if you're not a member, join us now. Call 1-800-700-7000 and say, yes, I want to be a member. Now, when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank does all the work and we can send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call or just go to cbn.com give. When you give monthly on the webpage, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, are you one of the millions of people who struggles with depression? Or maybe you know someone who does. In our new DVD, Pat Robertson explores the causes of depression and helps people find the answers they need to be healed. This next question comes from Susan Pat. She says, Pat, I've lost my zest for life. I'm tired all the time and sad. I believe I'm depressed in the clinical sense. Is this a spiritual issue? I think we have found that depression is not just something that's in your mind. It is clinical and it is chemical. Now, the biggest thing is you have a, a test to determine what's going on in your blood, what's going on in your endocrines. Get somebody who understands that kind of thing. And so don't just think it's you, but in the meantime, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And you know, a man shall eat good by the fruit of his lips. Begin to confess joy, begin to confess happiness, and reach out to other people. Good stuff. You know, I don't know about you, but when I need an answer to something I just can't figure out, I go to the Bible. And that's what God says to do. He says, if you need wisdom, ask, because I'm going to give it to you. Jeremiah 33, 3, ask, call to me, and I will tell you great and mighty things that you do not know. God knows we need it. And that's what I love about our new teaching called Ask Anything. These are biblical answers to life's most probing and perplexing questions. And best of all, it's our free gift to you when you call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner. The number is right on your screen, 1-800-700-7000, or you can go to CBN.com. That's another great way to give. If you're already a CBN partner at our $20 a month level, I just want to say thank you. You are making a big difference. Would you like to make a bigger difference? Who wouldn't? Let's take it up to our gold level, just $40 a month. When you do that, guess what? We're going to bless you back with three DVDs, one for you, two to give away. If you can take it up to our Thousand Club level, that's just $84 a month or higher. We're going to bless you with five of Pat's dynamic new teaching called Ask Anything. This makes a great gift as well. We are in the middle of a 154? Yes, I got it right. $154,000 challenge with eight minutes and 28 seconds left on the clock. Every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. This is a great time to go to your phones, and I think Gordon would agree with me. All right, we're going to add to that challenge. Partners say it's not enough. They want to add $45,000 yes. to it. Take us up to $199,000, and we need to pray. Lord, we ask for blessing on this, and we ask for the increase that comes from you. 30, 60, 100-fold 
Bless your people today, for we ask it all in Jesus' name, amen and amen. You heard it, uh, 199,000. The red numbers are 61,000 with just seven minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Enia is a young girl living in Albania who has a role model. She wants to be loving and kind, just like the character Joy from CBN's animated series, Superbook. Joy has made such a huge impact on her that her mother says it has changed her life. When I was five or six years old, I watched Superbook for the first time. Ten-year-old Enia found a hero in her favorite cartoon series. I am thinking all the time, why can't I become like Joy? She believes in God and she is good and kind. I began to believe and I started to pray. This cartoon changed the life of my daughter. The story of Esther, when Joy makes friends with children that others have rejected, it had a strong impact on Anya. Joy in the cartoon walks with a girl named Bonnie, who uses a wheelchair. I thought, if Joy can be so kind and brave, so can I. So Anya befriended a child at school who had been bullied by classmates. I found out that she was a nice person, and I realized that all people need to be given a chance. Enia is one of the thousands of children across Albania whose lives have been changed through CBN Superbook. Albanian missionary Rachel Byler has witnessed the influence of Superbook firsthand. We love the show Superbook in Albania because wherever we go, and this is true, wherever we go, uh, the kids have all know the song, and it's a song of salvation. This cartoon is very important for our country because so many children are in families who don't know Jesus. But now they know Gizmo, Joy and Chris, and they hear about God through them. Now I talk to my friends about Jesus. Thank you to everyone who made the wonderful Superbook. That thank you goes to you, because if you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of Superbook. If you're not a member, join with us. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. We've got a monster challenge, 199,000, 45,000 to go. And we're taking the red, red number down. Here, Ringgold, Georgia, 2,500 club members saying I'm doubling to founder. Yes. $5,000. That takes us down to 40 with five minutes on that clock. So call us now. Terry? Well, one mother living in South Thailand was often helpless to feed her starving family. Many days, all they had to eat was weeds mixed with a little bit of rice. Her mom calls her daughter Gadai little rabbit because of the three-year-old's fondness for eating vegetables. What her daughter doesn't know is that those vegetables are weeds collected from a nearby field. They eat them with a little rice. When Gadai goes hungry, I feel so helpless. My husband cuts grass and does odd jobs. It's not enough to feed our children and my elderly mother. Then Gadai's mother heard about a children's center supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. At the center, they give my daughter food to eat and milk to drink every day. She also learns many things and plays with her new friends. One day, a staff member at the center noticed that Gadai had an ear infection. So we took her along with her mom to the doctor. Then we provided the antibiotics the family could not afford. Finally, thanks to the Orphan's Promise Center, Gadai's mom can now work with her husband during the day, which has doubled the family's income. Now they no longer go hungry. Thank you, Orphan's Promise, for caring about my daughter. You're doing it all if you're a 700 Club member. We want to say thank you. Will you call now in the middle of this very big challenge? Everything you give will be matched dollar for dollar, so you are able to do twice as much with your giving. Thank you for calling, Gordon. All right, we're counting down to victory. 30,000 left with three minutes to go, and we're taking that red number down. 
here from West Covina, California, 700 Club Gold members saying, I'm going to wow. founder this yes, year, $5,000. And then from Albuquerque, New Mexico, a founder saying, you can count on me, $5,000. Yes, that takes us down to $18,000. We're counting to victory. Be a part of it. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Anna is an eight-year-old who gets in trouble every day at school. That's because she's always late, but it's not her fault. She can't make it to school on time because she spends her mornings walking two miles to get water. Every day, Anu has a lot of extra chores around the house. Her mother had polio as a little girl and needs the help. I feel sad for my mother. I do all the work I can for her, but sometimes I just want to play with other children. Collecting water for the family is a big task for Anu. She walks two miles round trip. Every morning and every evening, I must get water from the open well. The water is heavy for me, and my hands and legs hurt a lot. It takes so long and it's so hard to get water. Anu can't make it to school on time. I'm always late and the teacher punishes me. Sometimes she doesn't let me in the school. Anu and her family are Christian. They ask Jesus daily for a solution to their water problem. When CBN found out about the village through a local pastor, we quickly dug a well there. Now everyone in the village has clean water close to home. It's so easy for me to get water. My hands and legs don't hurt anymore. I get to school on time, and I even have time to play with my friends. Thank you, CBN, for giving us this well. And thank you. If you're part of the 700 Club, you're doing so much. We just showed you throughout this hour the impact you're having, and whether that's in Texas or in Florida or the Mexico earthquake, or providing cleft palate surgeries, providing fresh drinking water. You're part of all of it when you join the 700 Club. We've got a $199,000 challenge before us. That means your giving is automatically matched. We've got 7,000 on that red number, and we're counting down to victory because we're hearing from Tennessee. Sevierville. If I'm Sevierville? Sevierville. I've never heard of them. Uh, I don't know this place, but. But. I thought I knew a lot of places in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. But Tennessee wow. is being heard from. $6,300. That takes us over the top. That's victory. It's wonderful. 199000 But 10 seconds left. We'll still count everything on the phones because we need to go way over the top. The needs out there in Texas, Florida, Mexico, the need to preach the gospel, you're a part of all of it when you join with us. Well, it's been a glorious morning. 199000 was the challenge. And against that, you gave 204. We leave you these words from Acts 20. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. God bless you, and we'll see you again tomorrow.